Hey dear folks, it's Federico here. Today I want to show you this tool, which uh, I've just finished. It's called JIT Matrix Editor. And what it does is pretty straightforward and very simple to use. You can use it to edit matrices and in fact, chart type matrices with one plane. So simple, straight values from zero to 255, uh, no float numbers, no negative numbers and you can do it with your mouse. So this is a VATUI um, object with uh, some uh, JavaScript code inside. It's, uh, it's not very long, it's really pretty simple. And so let's see how we can use it. Uh, we can select a value here with an integer and we will start to write into our matrix. So we will see that the values in the matrices are being, uh, are being updated. And this will output a matrix as well. So here I'm converting it to float and then multiply it by 255. So if we have one, this will be visualized as white. And otherwise here is the original char matrix. So if we set uh, the value to 255 or whatever, it's about that, this will um, be shown as white here and every value in between will just show up as a shade of gray, right? Uh, we can clear it, we can set all the values to whatever we want. With a bang, uh, we can uh, send out the matrix and then we can uh, resize that. So we can have, for example, 10 uh, horizontal cells by 20 vertical cells and then we can work with that. If we press shift and we click on drag, this will, over, this will replace the, the cell value with a zero, right? So we can of course resize this object. The cells are always square, so the object proportion will remain constant also if we resize it, the UI proportions. And another thing we can do is that we can send it a matrix as an input, and this will visualize the values of, the, of this matrix. The matrix must be one plane, char type, whatever dimensions you want. So something like that will work as well. And if the um, object already has dimensions, when we send a matrix in, the dimensions will be overridden and will adapt to the, to the new dimension, like, just like a JIT matrix object will do. And thanks to the MFI feature of Max9, uh, which means you can uh, promote your own JavaScript code or JLSL code to regular Max object, I just did that. So uh, you can just create it by <laughs> typing a JIT matrix editor in an object. And this object also will have its uh, attributes as a regular max object. So that's, for example, to set the cell value. So that's pretty much it. Um, let's see for what we can use this object. I prepared here a patch. These, uh, they use some uh, V8 JavaScript to visualize um, tiles based on an input matrix. So all the values in the matrix are, are used as an index to choose one of those tiles. So once I drop the folder with all the tiles, which I downloaded from Kenny, by the way, I will put the link in the description, then I can just send a matrix. And if this matrix is full of zeros, the tile number zero will be chosen. Then I can modify this matrix. For example, if I want the tile number one, I can select the number one here and just draw a bunch of ones. This matrix uh, is being sent here to this um, matrix called map mat, which is also in this patcher. So when I click here, uh, you will see that it will select when where there is a one it will use the sprite number one let's set a bunch of twos here so it will visualize the sprite number two in here and uh yeah starting to get something let's use a bit of water so for example i can use uh, number 18 here then number 19 there then number 20 here on the right, and I'm choosing these three sprites basically. Then number 21 down here. Not sure what's coming up, but yeah, I, I messed it up, but uh, you got the idea. Oh, you know why? Because it's reversed. Um, the matrix gets reversed in OpenGL because I'm using OpenGL to visualize those uh, images and uh, so that the world coordinates are uh, reversed in OpenGL. But it doesn't matter. You can simply, you can easily solve these in the code. But this should give you an idea of how this works. This is just a use case, but there are countless of use cases. You could, uh, for example, just uh, want to draw your own uh, labyrinth or something. I don't know. I think you can come up with uh, some pretty cool use cases. So this thing is for free. I'm putting up. Uh, I'm putting it up on my pattern for free. I will attach also the the use case um, patcher with a tile map from Matrix. You can download the tiles, so the, the sprites. I'm uh, these 
bunch of images basically from Kenny website I will put also a link in the Patreon post while you are on my Patreon you may want to check my other patches I've got tons of them and by becoming a supporter you will have access to all the patches that I ever shared uh, you can also check them on my website which uh, the link is uh, on the description of this video to check all the patches I've ever released and all my tutorials and so on it's all there so thanks a lot for watching hope you liked this it was a lot of fun uh, working on it and I will see you in the next video.